A horrifying scene in the Hollywood Hills when a dog walker comes face to face with a mountain lion. It happened early in the evening in a residential neighborhood. And now the dog's owner is warning others to be aware of the dangerous wildlife lurking in the area. Our Rick Chambers is live in the Hollywood Hills with a story you'll see only on five. Rick? Yeah, sure. We all know that the animals are here and they're nearby. We've all seen them or seen pictures of them running down the streets and climbing trees, hopping fences. But this is about as close an encounter as we've ever seen with a mountain lion, and it should go out as a warning tonight to everybody that lives in or even visits the Hollywood Hills. Watch the upper middle of your screen. A mountain lion emerges from the bushes into a residential neighborhood near the Hollywood Reservoir. At the very same time, this man, who wants to remain anonymous, was walking two small dogs near Creston and Duran Drives. Nine-year-old Piper, a blue Merle and Chihuahua mix, was on the leash. Now in the video, you can see the big cat suddenly stop and crouch. It apparently sees the dogs. And moments later, just down the block, it attacks. I felt the tug and I heard Piper squeal. I turned around and I just saw a face. I didn't know what it was. It was likely P-22 an 11 year old puma known to live and prowl around griffith park it was like a two or three second struggle he had piper in his mouth that's all he wanted he didn't growl at all i didn't he, i didn't even hear him i never had a chance nor did piper the second dog however did survive my wife and i got piper in 2014 we rescued her and she was just the sweetest dog and we we're just devastated at the loss of our little guy Daniel Jimenez was out celebrating his daughter's birthday on that night and got a bizarre text from the dog walker. Her mountain lion um, attacked and took away our dog, um, and killed our dog. And we thought it was a joke, um, but it turned out uh, it was real. And we were just shocked and horrified. Daniel knows that the mountain lion was simply doing what wild animals do. But to have it happen in the evening when many people are out walking with their pets or family, it's a public safety issue, he says, that locals need to be aware of. I don't want anything bad to happen to P-22. Uh, I just want people to be safe out there so that nothing like this happens again. Now, no one from the Park Service has confirmed that it's P-22, but it is a mountain lion on his turf with a collar, radio collar on. And of course, these animals are not very social so it's very likely to be P-22. In the hills above the reservoir, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, let me throw it back to you in the studio. Rick, thank you.